Most people have the wrong idea about AI development. They think you need a PhD or you need to train models from scratch. The truth is companies don't need AI researchers. They need developers who can integrate existing AI into their products. And the opportunity here is massive. Every software is about to be rebuilt with AI. In the last five years, I've went from a beginner to a senior software engineer, and I'm currently leading my own AI development company where we help businesses implement AI solutions. And I've helped many developers in our community land from two to $10,000 projects building AI agents and automations for businesses. In this video, I'll show you the exact roadmap to become an AI developer. No complex math, no theoretical stuff that just look good on paper, but the way that actually works and gets you hired with a halal income in 2025. Before we begin, I just want to mention something quickly. We just crossed 70,000 subscribers recently. Thank you everyone who is part of the Codebender community. Inshallah, we're going to grow a lot this year. We have so many things planned for you. Our goal is to create an army of developers who master AI, build cool stuff, make money and become free. Before we touch any code, let's talk about something crucial, learning how to learn. Because AI is changing weekly and let's get real, it will replace mediocre developers. So you either adapt or you die. ChatGPT didn't exist two years ago. Now SubhanAllah it's everywhere. That's how fast this field moves. Success in AI is not about knowing everything. It's about learning how to adapt quickly. Here is my framework for rapid learning. First, you have to focus on core principles that never change. Then you build a strong foundation in software development. After that, you learn by building real projects, those that you can get paid for, not some dumb tutorials. And then stay connected with a good community to get updates quickly. You learn from other people's mistakes. So let's build your AI development foundation the right way. First, you need to have a solid understanding of full stack development. This will take you between three to six months, depending on where you're starting. I'm going to go over this quickly. I've made a lot of videos on my channel already about this before, so I assume most of you guys already know it. Or if you don't, just check the other videos I've made on my channel. Start with front end. Here, HTML is your foundation. That's the first language they're going to learn. Then you learn CSS for designing interfaces and the styling of your websites and apps. After that, you master JavaScript. That's going to bring your applications to life. That's the first real language that you're going to learn. Once you master JavaScript, learn React for building modern interfaces. That's a library for JavaScript to make it a lot more powerful. After that, you can move to the backend. Learn Node.js for the server logic. It's a runtime for JavaScript. And since you already know JavaScript, it's going to be quick for you to learn Node.js. And for database, you can learn PostgreSQL for data storage, or you can go with a NoSQL database like MongoDB. This is your foundation. Don't skip it. Now let's add AI to your toolkit. If you want to learn AI development, I highly recommend you check out Scrimba. They have a lot of courses and my favorite one is the AI engineer path. Full disclaimer, they reached out to me to sponsor this video, but I actually bought their course over a year ago and I absolutely loved it. That's why I'm very happy to recommend them. What makes Scrimba exceptional is that their interface is super interactive, so it makes it easy to learn. They have combined the screencast tutorial and IDE into one, so learning feels more like pair programming. You just follow short bite-sized interactive lessons. You will learn everything critical, prompt engineering, APIs, deployment, open source models, RAG, embeddings, AI agents. They're also about to launch backend support with courses to learn Node.js and Next.js. Their new AI power Powered instant feedback feature is a game changer. It gives you immediate feedback on your code for about 1,000 challenges. When you submit a challenge, their AI tells you instantly if you passed and it gives you hints on what to fix if you failed. Scrimby is giving a 20% discount on their pro subscription to everyone watching this video who signs up using the link in the description. But most of their courses are actually free, so you can try it without paying anything. In my opinion, this is the best resource that I've found to learn AI development. I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's going to simplify your AI journey a lot. Go to the link in the description to sign up. First, understand how large language models work. Not the math behind it, but the concepts. Learn prompt engineering. Bad prompts give you bad results. Good prompts give you amazing results. Learn about system messages and role prompting and techniques like chain of thought and few shot learning. With one of my students, we built an AI content repurposing tool. A firm in the UK paid us $1,200 to access that tool for just one month. The secret behind the app and why it works so well was the prompting, is the prompt engineering that we did. We have a full breakdown of it inside of our Codebender Accelerator. You need to study how to structure prompts for different use cases, learn about context windows and token limits, understand the strengths and limitations of the AI model. Next is phase four, the AI APIs. This is where the theory meets practice. Start with the OpenAI API, that's the industry standard. You master the GPT API for text generation. Learn important concepts like function calling, tooling, implement prompt caching for efficiency. Then you move to the Dolly API for image generation. After that, you can explore other AI APIs like Entropic, Mistral, DeepSeek. There's a lot of them. You can also learn how to combine multiple AI APIs into one application. Like two of my students, for example, they're currently building an AI app for a client. It's a $3,400 project to build an AI translation app that can take a YouTube video, it can transcribe it, 
translated in another language with the specific style that this company needs. I'm very proud of this project because they're actually doing it for a DAWA channel. Here they're chaining two AI models together, DeepSeek and a fine-tuned OpenAI model. Phase 5, Advanced Frameworks. This is where you become an AI architect. You're going to learn about AI agents and automations. This is the most exciting part about AI right now. AI agents are basically autonomous systems that can plan and execute tasks. They can make their own decisions and use tools that you can give them. For example, one of the students on my accelerator built an AI voice agent for a home service business. It's a $2,000 project. It's an AI that can answer phone calls from clients so that a human doesn't have to do it. It's a highly requested agent right now. In the future, there will be more AI agents that there are humans on Earth. And every business out there is looking to add some form of agent to automate part of their work. So there are a lot of opportunities. Something else to learn is RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's a very popular AI architecture because it allows you to build applications that have the specific knowledge that you want, on top of the general knowledge that these models possess. So for example, let's say you have a chatbot and you want the chatbot to have all your company data to ask questions about it. You can achieve that by building a RAG architecture. To learn how to do this, you need to understand embeddings and vector databases. You need to master document chunking and processing. A few tips that I can give you is first, build real projects as you learn. Create a chatbot that can talk about PDFs that users upload. Build an AI-powered interview preparation tool. Develop a custom logo generator. Make an AI-enhanced content management system. Each project is going to teach you something new. And the benefit of that is that you're going to avoid tutorial hell and you'll have a good portfolio of projects that you can showcase to an employer or potentially to get freelance projects. But just be careful to avoid some common pitfalls. Don't try to become an AI researcher if your goal is to build applications. Never copy-paste code without understanding it. You might feel that you're going faster, that you're coding your applications quicker, but if you don't understand the code, at some point you'll have to pay for this. And when there is a bug and there's something critical, you're going to be screwed and you'll realize that actually you're stuck now. Also, don't learn in isolation. This field is moving extremely fast. And if you're just by yourself trying to learn and figure things out, you're going to be too slow. You're not going to be successful. So join AI communities, learn with other people, team up with them, work on projects. This is what we're trying to provide in our accelerator. Let me be very clear. I believe we have a two to three year window where AI development skills are gold. After that, the barrier to entry will be much higher. So this is our chance right now to position ourselves in this AI revolution and make potentially generational wealth. If you want to learn how to put that knowledge into practice and make thousands of dollars building AI projects for businesses, check out this video. It's one of my favorite videos. Good vendors, Jazakallah for watching and Asalaamu Alaikum.